Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic. Magic. Woo! Uh, Mr. Boobster has on, has on uh, some nice chainmail armor here that we found randomly in one of our shelves. I made that a long time ago. Yeah. And lost it for a long time. Yeah. So it's back with a vengeance. <laughs> uh, yeah. So today we are playing Legacy because uh, we haven't really done that in a while that hasn't been a Patreon list and. There's some pretty sweet death new Ray decks Shaman now that bond, yeah, banned, so. now that uh, Death Ray Shaman is gone. A lot of decks that uh, weren't really open before are a lot more open now. Yeah. That when, said, when most decks had yeah. main board graveyard hate, uh -huh. kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that said, neither of these decks care that Death Ray Shaman's gone, really, <laughs> from what I could tell. Yeah, this deck. Yeah. Mine doesn't really even utilize it, it, the graveyard. It has four main board rest in pieces. It didn't care what Death yeah. Ray Shaman wanted to do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, in mine, I think I have, like, one main deck Crucible, which, boo-hoo if that gets turned off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I am playing Turbo Depths, which is a uh, green-black build of the Dark Depths list that runs the Hexmage version of the combo and the Thespian Stage version of the combo. No uh, Mirage Mirror, because that's a little too slow for Legacy, probably. But, uh, yeah. So, basically, you're just trying to get a gigantic 2020 with flying and indestructible into play on, like, turn one or two, and, uh, beat face. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> and as for me, I am playing an energy field control list. So, it utilizes energy field, which prevents all damage that would be dealt to me from sources I don't control. Not even combat damage. Yeah. not No combat damage, no dir direct damage, none mm -hmm. of that. And it lasts until a card is put into my graveyard. Yep. And therefore we run four rest in peace because <laughs> no card is ever entering my graveyard at that point. Yeah. And then it also utilizes Helm of Obedience as the win condition because if you can pay X equal one and then mill them until one card gets put into their graveyard. Or a creature. But, or a creature. Yeah. But wait, no cards are ever getting put yeah. in their graveyard, so you just <laughs> mill them completely. Yeah. Gotta, gotta love old obscure wording that <laughs> randomly works with string combo decks. But, uh, yeah. So, that's what we're doing. This should be either really fast or really slow, depending on uh, who's who's in who's in the driver's seat. So, side goes first. The 24-sided dice. 24-sided dice. Nine. 17. <laughs> Almost six. A so, little higher. Yeah. I will go first, and we will see game one. Game one. Show my hands. That's what I'm working with. Go ahead. 18. Unless well, you force this. <laughs> do not have a force of will. Hmm. Um... Hmm. Probably. But the thing is, like, okay, so rest in peace just flat out doesn't really do anything, unless it's a combo piece. Yes. So do I take the counter spell, or do I take the rest in peace? I think my gut is telling me take the counter spell. So I'm gonna take that. Do. Tundra, ponder. Um, yeah, we're gonna shuffle. <laughs> yeah, taking not the rest in peace was a good choice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that card's like, like if you if you had like energy field in that, then I'd seriously consider it. But on its own, that just doesn't do anything against me, really. Except for the fact that, of course, I have the one card that cares. <laughs> Shuffle, and we're drawing blind. That's a pretty good draw. blind draw. Here go. I'm guessing that's probably another counterspell of sorts, so we're going to go for a Bayou, and I'm going to try Into the North. So I can find you... It Basically, it's rampant growth for a snow land. Which includes... Dark Depths. Dark Depths. Yes. How afraid am I of that? You could have one of the weird answers to it. Ugh. Yeah, just because I know it can get dark depths. <laughs> We're going to force sure. that pigeon ponder going to 19. Yeah, that was a pretty good topic. Go ahead. Untap. 
Drop return. Play planes. And a rest in peace. Goodbye, graveyards. Drago. Draw. Uh, that's sort of handy, I suppose. This time we're just going to go for a... Actually, should do it this way. Urborg. Sylvan Scrying. Yep. Which will fetch a... Thespian Stage. Just in case I get like another into the north or one of those types of effects. And pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. Blooded Strand. We're just gonna crack this now to find a Plains Intergo. Um, okay, that's to my hand, that's exiled. So. End of turn, I will try for a crop rotation, sacrificing a bayou. Yeah, that happens. Which will grab a Dark Depths. Ten counters. Good. Do it that way. Ten Ice Counters. On tap. Draw a card. There's the stage. Pass turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do have a shot at Rough for that was <laughs> that was beautiful. Island. Do you energy field? Energy field. <laughs> Enter go. Uh, yeah, make the twenty twenty. <laughs> or attempt to. Yeah, you can have a twenty twenty. Okay, so if you've never seen this combo before, it's it's really cool. Yeah, so I get to prevent all damage dealt by sources I don't control. Oh, I didn't mean yours. Oh. <laughs> I meant mine. Uh, but yes, yours is going to also deal with that, which will come up shortly. But basically, if you have a Thespian stage and a Dark Depths, what you do is you tap two mana, which Dark Depths doesn't normally tap for mana, but Urborg allows it to. Because it's also a swap. Yeah. And then you activate Thespian stage to make a copy of Dark Depths, and then Legend Rule happens, and you decide to keep the Thespian stage copy, so this one disappears. Forever. Forever. Thanks to Rest in Peace. But this is now a Dark Depths with zero ice counters on it, so it gets sacrificed immediately to create a 2020 Mart Lage token. Yay. Yeah. And then Energy Field just turns off all the damage from that. And unless I top deck an Abrupt Decay. Sad. <laughs> um, I guess I might as well just leave that back, huh? Here's a Thespian stage, and... A very boring Crucible of Worlds, very which exciting. does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Good, no sense. Of time tap. Draw for turn. Here's a plateau. Enter go. Draw. Cards. Two cards. Let's make that zero cards. In the dark. Um, you know what? You? Just, just in case. We're gonna sorts that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will gain, gain 20, 20 life. life. Come to 38. And you get a tundra from me as well. <laughs> I went, my main route to victory doesn't really care about your life total. <laughs> but I guess Luminarch Ascension could. True. But not with draws like these. I mean, kind. you have assembled a contraption. Yes. I, I am invulnerable to most sources of damage. Mm -hmm. Sure go. And even like, well, to all sorts of damage that I don't control, but yeah, life loss. Though I don't think your deck really uh, deals with that. See, the point is, there's almost no point even running this out there. But I'm gonna, because I don't think I've ever cast this card in my entire life. Actually, I've used it, but I've never cast it. I will cast an <laughs> Elvish Spirit Guide, because we're at that point in the game now. And uh, just because I can, here's a Bojuka Bog. I will exile your graveyard. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Good. Yeah, let's brainstorm. Main phase. Sure. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna put... 
we're going to keep that and put those back. And then we are going to Enlighten Tutor. Ugh. And Enlighten Tutor lets me find an Artifact or Enchantment card. That's also a pretty good shuffle effect. <laughs> For a uh, Brainstorm Poop. And we will find a Helm of Obedience. Yep. So I'm dead next turn. <laughs> Yeah, and that goes on top, and it's your good. I don't think there's anything I can draw here. Well, I'll the cow on a rescue piece. Yeah, I mean, I guess I would turn it off, but... Instead, we got a Lotus Petal and a Snow-Covered Swamp, and because why not, I will send in for two. Yeah, no blocks. Yeah. So this goes on top. <laughs> good. Untap. Draw for turn. We shall cast a Helm of Obedience. Yep. So I want to care to explain how this works? Yes, so we if will you pay, can even know. We will pay X yeah. and tap Helm of Obedience, mm -hmm. and then we will put the top card of your library into your graveyard yeah. until we get X cards yeah. or a creature card. Okay, so 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 you X is equal to 2, right? Yes, X is equal okay, to 2. Okay, so I'll put this into my graveyard, which goes immediately into exile. Yeah, it doesn't get to hit the graveyard so first. So X is still 0. X is still 0. Still 0. <laughs> still 0. Still 0. Yeah. Because the creature cards are still also not going in the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> and normally normally the effect would be hmm. if you hit the creature, then you sacrifice Helm of Obedience and, and you get, get the that. creature. Yeah. But in this deck, it exiles his mm -hmm. library. And it is your go. Um, end of turn, I will turn Thespian Stage into an Urborg. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. I lose. <laughs> ah, you got me. Okay, maybe I should have taken the rest in peace then. Because <laughs> it actually really boned me that game. Like, surprisingly. There was, when I pondered, there was a second rest in peace in the mm, top. Sure. And, and another ponder. Like, yeah. a third ponder. So. It's <laughs> well, like, it's, it's funny because... Like, well, I didn't need those, so yeah. I'll shuffle instead. It's funny because Crucible of Worlds, I believe, is the only card in my deck that cares about my graveyard. And, of course, that's what I had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was game one. And we'll see you in game two. All right, game two. Shamans. That is what I am working with. Go ahead. It's a duress this time. Off an Urborg. Oh, there's swords. Some lands. Rest in peace. A force of will doesn't have a blue card to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have mm. one combo piece and a way to find the other one, so. Yeah. I think Enlightened Tutor is actually the thing I'm probably the most scared of here. Because, uh... Yeah. Rest in Peace by itself, like, it was bad last game, but it, just because I happen to have yeah. Crucible of Worlds, normally I don't really care, it's the energy fields that are the scary part of that combo, but, uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, that's not the kind of draw we want. Oh, good. <laughs> Here's a Plains. Here you go. Draw. Um... That's ease. 18. Well, here are the cards you've seen before. Yeah. And there's the new one. <laughs> All right. Double plows. That is Which, annoying. It is annoying for you. <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, at this point, though, am I more annoyed by Rest in Peace or Force of Will? Rest in Peace. Learn from the first game, just in case. Just in case. And a Verdant Catacombs. Good. Off return. We'll play Flood Strand. Enter go. Crack this in the turn. 17. Which does reveal what I drew, but yeah. I'd kind of like the thin and not draw lines. Grab a bayou. And actually, then, since I know. Uh, double Swords is going to be annoying, but. We'll crop rotate our bayou into a dark depths. Ho oh, ho! With ten counters. I was gonna ask why you had to crop for it, but then I remembered that you do need the green. Yes. So. Crop rotation cannot be cast up or org. Draw! Here's a verdant catacombs and a vampire hex mage. Tapping the dark depths for a black. Yep. Pass turn. I suppose I should have just gone and searched for my... That's what I want. 
we're going to find our volcanic island because we can. Sure. Granted, it's a little late for the blood moon at this point. Yeah. So you can just, in response. Mm -hmm. I can also go fetch a basic so that even if. Even if that somehow all falls apart, at least I'm not completely out of mana. But so I still 19. have to go through two plows. And we need a good draw here. You know I asked for it. Ugh. That's just mean. <laughs> Here's a crocus. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Enter go. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a one of that hurts. Sixteen. I don't know how I win this game now. Uh, you pray for a wasteland. Yeah, I do have one. <laughs> or crop rotation, sylvan strang. I mean, yeah, I guess I have ways to fetch that out. So, it's not the end of the world. Certainly not popping the hex mage yet, though. Draw. Yeah. Bayou, Bob, attack you for two. I don't think it's worth swordsing that. Well, hmm. Is it? I think it is. Well, I'll swords it. And then you force me to use it? Use it if only when I use it? Hmm. The token just, yeah, the token just kind of ceases to exist. Yeah. So you gain two life? Yeah, 18. Good. Untap. Drop a turn. Only the most exciting of droughts over here. Island and a turgo. Untap. Bob sees a crop right Oh, uh, I'm really glad I started that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good call. Um, two. Yeah, we'll take it. 17. Go. Draw for turn. Here is a scalding turn, and it is your go. And a turn. Crop rotate this bayou into a wasteland and waste your crocus. You can counter if you want. Um, we're gonna crack scalding turn mm -hmm. to find. This is a hard cast force. An island, and yes, it is going to be a hard cast force. Okay. Enter go. Untap. Bob sees Elvish Spirit Guide. Ow. 14. Huzzah. I can only hope Bob kills you. 2. 15. Go. Untap. Drop a turn. That's reasonable. So, four mana mm -hmm. for Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I think we're going to brainstorm. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, those are. Those are good draws. Um, we're gonna hide those back on top, though. And it is your go. I will remove a counter from Dark Ops. <laughs> Bob sees Sylvan Scrying. Go to twelve. That could be a problem. <laughs> Draw. Hmm. Cast Sylvan Scrying. Yep. Wasteland your crackers. Mm. Mm. Do we swords that Bob? Oh, no, no. Yeah, we'll lose it. I don't think using the mana is mm -hmm. worth not having that swords. <laughs> So that was my land for turn. Um, 
Dash Jace for two. Just goes to one. Pass turn. Untap. Drop return. Look at that. Actually thinking of it, I should have put both of them in my hand, but what can you do? Play planes. Mm -hmm. I think that's... We shall cast an Enlightened Tutor. Okay. And Jace go, goes and grabs the actual card. That's pretty smart. And we will find a rest in peace. Okay. Top and then yeah, brainstorm. Yep. Well then, we will put those on back on top like that, and we will cast ourselves a rest in peace. Peace is resting. And we played our planes that land for the turn, so. Does your go? Mm. End of turn. Exile. Elvish Spirit Guide. Tap this for a black. Abrupt decay. The rest in peace. Oh. This goes into the graveyard. Bob sees into the north. Well, I'm glad it's that one. Go to ten <laughs> and draw a card. Bob might kill you. Yeah. Attack Jace. Jace down. He actually gets buried. <laughs> Not exiled forever. Um, we will use this opportunity to into the north. Oh, that puts it in play tapped. Never yeah. Mind. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that, that one. <laughs> it's not Sylvan Scrying, right? No. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, so then in that case, we will go the extremely boring route of casting an Elder Spirit Guide and playing a Caracas of our own. Oh. Which is not useful in this matchup. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. But at least the taps for white and a black. Something. Tundra. We're gonna ponder. Yep. Um. That's tough. Is oh actually. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, no, because we do... Mm. I think it's still reasonable enough, so we'll put them back on top like that. Draw. And cast... Chase the Mind Sculptor again. Alright. Who will go Brainstorm. The extra card we've seen was not very amazing, so we will put back um, put back like that. Enter your go. Bob sees dark depths. Ha ha. Draw. Okay. <sighs> Fast Jace. If we care about Jace. I don't think we care about Jace. Here's a Verdant Catacombs. It's just a four mana brainstorm. Good. Untap. Drop return. Brainstorm. Yep. Wow, okay. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna crack this now just to thin from the nine. Because I don't think you have stifles in your deck. So just do it now. We're gonna put these back. We're going to again cast Jace. 
All right. We're going to brainstorm again. This is getting annoying. <laughs> We're going to put these back. We're going to Flooded Strand to find us an island. 14. And we shall land ourselves a rest in peace. Yep. Enter go. And turn on remote counter. It's in the three mana. Bob sees Bajuka Bog. Very Which helpful. is very relevant at this stage. That less so. Um, here's a Thespian stage. And I'll bash Jace for four. Yep, yeah, Jace tap. Pass Untap. Drop return. Well, we are going to try for a Helm of Obedience. <laughs> All right, and we can pay for X's too mm -hmm. to mill you until you get two cards in your graveyard. Um, let me just make sure that I'm for sure. I have no outs here. I'm pretty sure I don't have any outs. Well, I can make I can make it twenty twenty again, <laughs> but that's not very useful. So I'll do that. And uh, yeah. Blip. Huzzah! Yeah, not not the best hand ever. Oh, Bob saw dark depths, and then my next draw was a dark depths, and oh yeah, yeah. I'm even I'm even thinning lands intentionally so that I can not draw them, and all I draw is lands. <laughs> all right, well we're still gonna have a game three, I think. So uh, see you there. All right, game three for a freaking booby prize. That's what I've got. Go. We've got those. Whoop. I'm going to play a Bayou, and I'm going to play a... If you play Caracas, I'm tearing it in half. Pass the turn. Huzzah! I'm not even kidding. I don't care if it's 100 bucks. I'm tearing that shit in half, if that's your first play. <laughs> Flood Strand. The 19th on a tundra. And a ponder. Yep. Like Zap. Draw. That's not terrible. Lotus Petal. Yep. Vernon Catacombs. Crack. Got a Bayou. We will attempt a Vampire Hex Mage. I think that is getting Force of Will pitching a ponder. Attack for one. Eighteen. Okay. Seventeen. Untap. Draw for turn. Scalding Tarn. And we'll find an island, but it's your go. Draw. Next mage. We have a counter spell for that one. You don't? We do. Oh, you do. Okay. A oh, literal counter spell. Literal counter spell. Alright. Snow covered forest. Tag you for one. Go. 15. 
Untap. Drop return. That's weird. Island or planes. Enter go. That tells me you drew another <laughs> counter spell. Him to Turok you. Yeah. No, because this. So we can enlighten Tudor. Okay. And. Lay those out so you can roll dice. Sure. If that'll dissolve. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the one you get to keep. Uh, one, two, three, four. So you get that and one. Rest the rest of the Get the middle one? Yep. Rest in peace goes on top. And you got... Do that another. Hmm. Tech for one. Fourteen. Good. Untap. Drop return. Rest in peace. Yep. Enter go. One. Thirteen. Lotus petal go. Untap. Drop return. Enter go. One. This would be a very anticlimactic way scrying. to win the game. Yes, it would. Sylvan Scrying. Is yeah. that good? Yeah, that resolves. Considering, the, what's that, three forces <laughs> down now? I think it's only discard? two forces oh, only and two. a counter spell. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, stage. And that'll be my land for a turn. Okay. Good. Drop return. Huzzah. Island. And a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. Who will brainstorm? You got it. I'm actually going to respond to the brainstorm. Okay. Because if there's another Force of Will on top, then I have to do that. So. How to do this? Crop rotation. Sacrificing snow covered force. Yep. Yeah, it does resolve. Dark depths. So brainstorm's still on the stack, so you've already yeah. used Jace. Um, but I don't need to do this quite yet, so you can continue. So it resolves. Yes. yes. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll, uh, I guess we'll put those back since we're dead. And it's your go. Now, what that is is really fortunate because I didn't want to have to have you counter my combo six times and then beat you down to the one one. Because that's not fun for anybody. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I spent my mana to cast Jace, so no <laughs> humility. And a turn. Crack these two Lotus Petals to make the mana for Thespian Stage. Make a copy of Dark Depths. Right, the old okay. one. There's a 20-20, and even if you had a freaking Caracas, I can sacrifice a land to give a trap. And my sword in my swords. hand, too. So, yes. yes. Yay! <laughs> I did something! That's exciting. Here's a Bajuka bog. <laughs> you don't have a graveyard. <laughs> no one has a graveyard. So why not? And uh, Jace can take one, and you can take 20. Jace goes two. <laughs> I go to dead. <laughs> All right, well, I squeaked one through, but just barely. Oh, man. <laughs> I had to wade through some... I actually, like, if you wouldn't have countered the first hex mage, I just had a turn two twenty twenty. but... Of course. But I had all the counter spells. And then I top-decked another one, thinking, oh, that's great, and you had another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, that was this, and we will see you tomorrow, I believe, for some more Commander. Your Exciting stuff. Bye! Bye.